What is happening, fishers? Got Clint there, Dean, myself. Little uh, session. We're heading down to the island. Sun is gleaming in the background, I can see. Sea is still extremely flat and super clean, guys. So today we are on the hunt for possibly a cob, black, silver, or anything that takes some drag. We've got low tide at 6.35 and I think swell height today is sitting at about 0.7 at low tide. Minus two foot. Minus two foot. Yeah, so I don't know, conditions seem good. I think irrespective of anything, it's going to be a good evening on the rocks. It always is. And uh, yeah, we'll see what you can get uh, you guys onto. Anyway, fish shows, keep watching. And we'll check in with you all later. Cheers. What is happening fish show? So we made it down here, been a bit of an interesting walk for me. A bit of an old man at the moment, got a bit of a injured back, but anyway, still make a plan. Made my H-frame lighter, decided to put more things in it because it doesn't really make a difference, it still hurts. I hope you're loving my new pair of glasses I've got on today. They're super sexy. I had to steal these from uh, Auntie Jen because my fishing glasses uh, decided to break on me. Anyway, so we'll be wearing those tonight so I can see the fish. What big eyes you have. All the better to see the fishes with. Anyway, guys, on a more serious note, uh, we are down here. The water looks super wet. As always, super clean, tasty. I don't even know what I'm going to throw in for yet. Uh, I'm just putting the line through my eyes. I might actually try for uh, a biting fish, first of all. Uh, I do have one or two saddlebacks left, so thinking about maybe a quick silver bait in the dark. And then I'm super keen to get onto the island to be your right, my left. Uh, for a cob. We do normally get the cob on there when it's flat like this. So hopefully this evening pans out the same. Otherwise than that, still traces are coming out and we're gonna get the ratchet to go clickety click. We'll see you guys just now. What is happening chaps? So I've had feet throws, I've snapped up twice. Things are definitely going in my favor, yeah? I am fishing like a bit of a well, retard fishing. I'm pretty much dangle fishing off 11 foot rod off the end of the island. I know it sounds a bit silly, but I'm fishing right at my feet. That's where the cob normally seem to be feeding on the island on a flat sea like this. So you do snap up quite a bit. So it's pretty simple. Simplest trace in the world. One of Andrew's favorite J hooks, the mustard, whatever, whatever, 25, 30 dash, whatever, which one it is, but it's a good one. Straight, normal trace. I'm gonna put my sinker line on there. A little bit of foam and a whole sardine, guys very very simple bait that I like to catch cop off the island here with you flick off and you just pretty much like a jigging action and normally the smaller cob uh, seem to love that so anyway we're gonna get back out there hopefully it's not three for three and hopefully let's uh, make it three for three fish rather we'll see you soon Clint's out there at the moment we're really keen to get him onto something if he's on now what's happening there no it's just reeling in uh, the sun is gonna set in about two minutes I'm gonna grab my throw net quickly and uh, grab a live bait while I'm still legally allowed to. We'll see you all soon. Cheers. What is happening, fishers? I heard the ratchet going from where I was. So I'm navigating to get across the island once more. Thank goodness it is just about low tide. What well, is low tide now? Uh, that's Saragossa. That's some insane sounds, guys, honestly. Funny how you can hear it from literally 200 meters away. Definitely a fish. Head shakes. Everything that you'd expect from a fish. So, now, where am I? Let's see if I can stay focused on Dean. Might need to help him land this one too. Oh, it's giving him horns, guys. It's a good fish. Okay, let's see if I can 
position this year. Huh? Off! Hey guys, he says it's off. It's a pity because that is big. What's happening guys? So I've just been uh, peeled off at least probably 200 meters. I've got about 100 meters back here. Yeah? Uh, from when I shouted to Andrew, it stopped running uh, by the time he got here. That's when it stopped running. Anyway, I don't know what that is guys. Obviously a bronzy or a grey shark. There's no way it was edible. But anyway, I'm shaking now. Good fun. What is happening for shows? I think Dean's just lost one. Clint's just lost one. Clint's just lost one. Really? You're on! Never mind, we're running back to Clint. Okay guys, we got Clint on. Dean, come help ya. Running, yeah. I don't know where, where must the line looks very close though. This line's right here, Dean. Yes. Okay, so at the moment guys we're all busy fishing live bait Dean was on I actually just asked Clint a question I'm like hey Clint have you had any pools yet he says no it was about uh, two seconds later and uh, he went flat so he's a happy man at this point We're on Opa's Rock at the moment, guys. Very close to Four Seasons, very close to where we stay, Four Seasons Dolphin View area. Uh, these rocks are just extremely slippery at the moment. It's got this like green moss on it that is not very pleasant to stand on and uh, makes life tricky here in front as well. There's quite a big ledge. So I'm hoping Finn can hold this one and we can see what it is. It's definitely taking some drag. Got quite a big swirl coming in here as you guys see there. And I think it's just lost him. Hey man, and that's fishing guys. Just as quick as it came on, it went off. What is happening, Fisho? So that brings uh, the end to a night, a very sharky night. It's a crazy pools. I had probably one of the biggest runs of the island I've ever had in my life. A little drop shot right in the Saragossa. We moved to the left, nothing much happening. And then we came to Opa's Rock, which we might get washed off any second here now. Definitely sharky, I think at one, two, three, Four downs, snapped up three times, and this was my last take I've had now. You can see the teeth marks in this guy. Let's push some to get some blood to come out. Oh, sorry, right out there. They're definitely small reggies or some sort of shot around. Punch of the mullet quite nice. I know Clint's had a nice pull in the front here. It's been a while since he had a good pull. I heard him shouting. Ran to assist, but it snapped him up in the front. Opa's rock guys probably. I know we talk about dead man's been a terrible place land a fish this is like chaos in front here you've pretty much got a two meter gap over 40 or 50 meters of rock that you've got to bring your your fish in it's almost impossible especially on a higher tide but uh you do get the nice big pools yeah so it is fun so clint uh, you enjoyed tonight's uh, entertainment yeah but yeah it was great thanks guys it was really awesome enjoyed fighting uh what, fish whatever it was whatever it was yeah, yeah. So Clint got some nice pulls in his live bait and he's super stoked. Uh, fun, yeah. Got the that fishy feeling back. Anyway guys, we'll see you all soon. Uh, I think it's time for us to, to uh, look at some uh, non-ed setup. Using edible setups, to, trying to catch non-eds. Is working, but uh, we're losing, I think that's shark number nine I've lost in a row now. So 
December is around the corner. We might have to look at uh, stepping up the gear here, but to get you guys some uh, some sharky fish. Anyway, chaps, until later. Don't forget if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like, comment, share, and we we'll see you all soon. Cheers.